What's good, YouTube? Adrian the Kid, and I'm lit. We back in this bit, man. Today we got the rise and fall of Daddy 05, man. From family prank channel to delete it, man. Now look, I used to watch uh, Daddy 05, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. I don't even think I had a YouTube account, but like, like, I I, I think I, I had like wrote down the name of the channel. You know what I'm saying? I used to just come back to it, watch their vids, man. I used to see some crazy stuff. I used to show my mom. Mom was like, Adrian, just turn this off. You know what I'm saying? But... They ended up getting terminated, you know what I'm saying, for for doing some crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying, over like like two a two a two year span, you know what I'm saying? They were really big and subs and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But look, we're gonna see what happened, man. Let's get it. Now, take a joke. Your faces. Take a joke. You're the only one in the house that can't take a joke. You gotta act like a Come on, Cody. Just a prank, bro. No, this is Cody, I think. It's just a prank. So you all made me go all through all this just for a stupid prank. Yeah. Oh. I'm tired of this. Hello, human beings. See, hey. from the life of Pi here. Today, I'm going to be talking about Daddy. I think o I've seen him before. Daddy O Five was a family YouTube channel that featured parents Mike and Heather Martin pranking yep. their five children. Shockingly, though, many of the videos Look. featured which sparked tremendous yeah. backlash. Yeah. As a result, two of the kids were taken away, and the parents were convicted of. In addition, their channel mm. was terminated by YouTube and the original videos are now deleted. This mm. is the rise and fall of Daddy05. Before right, I man, get into the get video, it. I just want to say thank you for helping me get to 200,000 subscribers. Hey, congrats, I man. I genuinely teared up so Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. For helping me 4.2 million in the last 28 days? Come on. Yeah, clap it up for that one, man. Hey. Get hey, to 200,000 subscribers. 39k in the last month. Keep going, number. man. I appreciate the support greatly. I'm this video Sorry, got emotional there. Well, today's sponsor is Hunt a Killer. Hey, Hunt a Killer is a murder mystery game subscription service. Date golf plus murder. The game also subsistence with thousands of those cold cases. Your first 2015. Now back to the video. The right. Radio 5 <clears throat> channel was created on August 13th, 2015. The parents often played pranks on the kids and recorded their reaction for YouTube. Yep. Initially, the pranks were benign, such as egging one of them or making them dance. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, they the moved into a huge house. Ghost pepper hot sauce. Viewers found these skits funny and enjoyable, which allowed them to reach 100,000 subscribers in August 2016. And it still keeps going up. <clears throat> Damn! Well, it's still gonna keep going up. But now you're over that hurdle. <sighs> I gotta wait and look for your email from YouTube. Motivated, Mike and Heather kept posting more pranks to boost their yeah. subscriber and viewer counts even more. They However, chasing their content that bag. also became increasingly shocking. The parents clearly disregarded the health and safety of the children. One of them, Cody, was particularly targeted. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah. And look, I think, like, because like, uh, the dad, I think the dad, um, only like two of those kids were, were actually his kids. So he treated the other three, like, badly from, from what I, I remember, you know what I'm saying? And Cody was one of them, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Cody was the, was the butt of, like, most of his jokes, you feel me? All of the Martin children were bullied, but Cody was definitely picked on the most. He was known to have a condition called Oppositional Defiant Disorder, or ODD. Mm. According to the Cleveland Clinic, children with ODD may express their defiance by arguing, disobeying, or talking back to adults. So when mm. Mike or another family member bullied Cody, his angry reactions made him camera fodder. For example, in one video, Mike threw away Cody's toys because he was misbehaving, which caused him to get extremely upset. Of course, his reaction was filmed. Well, everything they did was filmed, bro. However, it was apparent Mike instigated and Cody constantly. In a video called Cody is bad in school, Mike screamed at him even after he clearly asked not to be filmed. Oddly, the other children were watching and operating the camera, which wasn't a healthy dynamic to say the least. Mm. Do you pay the bills in this house? No, but they don't need to be recorded in my room. Look here. Get that camera out of here. Cody, stop yelling at you me. Look, he's spitting. You want to you drop a level? Whoa. Nah, look, like, look, 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 bro. So... <laughs> I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I can't show that. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, I, I ain't seen nothing happen, but you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Shit. This man was just giving his kid the camera, like, like, yo, 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 record me. I'm about to, I'm about to get on Cody. You know what I'm saying? Why, well, but like, like, why, bro? Why do you have to report, record yourself doing something that you should already be doing? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. And then you, you, you yelling at the um, at the uh, the kid recording. I forgot his name. I think his name like Jake or something. I don't know, man. 
Or just two. Do you want to stop being bad again? No, I don't want to. Do you want to lose a level? No. A level? Clean this mother freaking room. I don't want them recording my room. Clean, clean this damn room now. Why does Later he have in the him recording, revealed, though, Cody like... physically harmed himself at school. Instead of helping him, though, Mike berated Cody and called him stupid. You kept scraping your arm to make. Yeah, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't, I ain't taking that risk, man. I'm just skip this whole part. I return. Sadly, Heather's were equally as bad, if not worse. In a video called Getting Ready for Disney, Heather outright said she didn't want to take Cody to Disneyland because he was going to make everyone miserable. She stated she Dang. didn't want him to come because he threw feces in their home. Cody's going to oh! because Cody was bad and didn't earn going to Disney. Bro, he's throwing Which crap sucks. around the house. Why are you pissed off? Because he's not going. Whose fault is that? It's his fault, but I'm still pissed off about it, babe. So be pissed off at him. No, I, I wanted to take it. Okay, well, I don't want to take Tough him. Tough shit. I love the boy, but I don't want to take him because he's bad at shit and he's gonna make everyone miserable the whole Ooh. time. Yeah. He put poop everywhere. Interestingly, in a later interview, Keemstar pointed out that some okay. mental health experts suggested throwing feces may be a sign of. Apparently, the reason why he wasn't mm. going is because he. Hey. I feel like like YouTube got certain like trigger words, you know what I'm saying? So like certain words that I said could like get me in trouble. So hey, I'm, hey, go watch the original video, man. Getting to abandon Cody because of bad behavior was incredibly ironic, considering they were legitimately him. He also dished out excessive punishments, such as burning Cody's Pokemon cards because he didn't do his homework. Mega Tarantopop. Whoa, whoa, skip, 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 skip. And look, like, like. As a as a father, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if he was the actual father, but like stepfather, you know what I'm saying? You signed up for that. Like so if your kid not doing his homework, isn't that like kind like kinda your fault? Like like I'm talking about like elementary age. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause like middle school, high school, like that, that kid is pretty much a, uh on his own, you know what I'm saying? But if it's a little kid like like not doing his homework, shouldn't you be like, alright, you know what I'm saying, lay your homework on the table, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna help you do it. I say, but uh, hey, L parent. Really, bro? Really? <laughs> no one cares about your content. Stop! I'm telling Dad. Stop. <laughs> like why? <laughs> I'm telling Dad. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the one. Um, also used Jacob to carry out acts. Dad. Like the time he and Cody oh, reached the tipping point, I can't show that. Posted a video called that. "Invisible Ink Gee. for Epic Freakout." In it, Heather poured invisible ink on the carpet and then blamed poor Cody, who thought it was real. What the? What did you do? What? What the? I didn't do that. What the hell is that? Oh. What the hell what is, is that? What is this? Cody. Man, bro, this is just this is way too much, you know what I'm saying? For a child, man. Damn. So who, who, who did it? Who did he say did it? No, people the dad is sitting there holding the camera. I felt so bad for Cody watching this. He sounded helpless and scared as the Martins continued hounding him and even blamed another one of their kids. Please. You obviously did! You've done, done this before! I didn't do that! You've done this before! I don't want anything to do that with! I don't want anything! Cody, you did this! I know, but I don't have anything that is eager or whatever that is! Cody, you did this! I did! You did this! You know you did this! You're writing. You're writing a thousand sentences. A thousand sentences is crazy. In April 2017, crazy. Philip DeFranco caught wind of the situation and made a video about the Daddy O5 channel. In it, he criticized the ink prank for being too. What? Ink prank for being too. Nigga, 
Bro, you, you you blurred out the word every time it came on the screen. Now you and you acting different. Because bro. if you've watched no, I'm gonna have to while, do it. You know when it's if it comes to stories about kids potentially being a I, I am very biased. I tried to explain the story as evenly as possible in the beginning, but it, it's impossible for me to hide the fact that if, if you treat a child like this, I hate you. And while the kids themselves either really or publicly will say that they don't think they're being I, I am Bro, stop showing, bro. I need to know Every time that word soap, I'm, I'm at the, like this get rid of make me emotional. Call to action by DeFranco, many people began to scrutinize the channel. The Soon Pokemon. they realized the kids were in fact being a and the Martins received Bro. tremendous backlash as a result. Is your Forced to respond, Mike and Heather released an apology video so terrible it could have been directed by Logan Paul. First, Mike said all the videos they made were fake and scripted. Logan made that, that forest video. just around it because I was scared. I was, I... See her in the back. I was scared. But now... Cody! I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. You don't care about your kids anymore. They're fake. They're over-exaggerated. Some videos are scripted. Mike then claimed the family received sympathy by blaming DeFranco. By this DeFranco guy? No, no, no. So what was scripted about it was was like, he was like, all right. So he, he probably told his wife, he was like, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to the room. I'm going to do this, do this, do this, and I'm going to record it. I don't, I don't think the kids' reactions were fake because, you know what I'm saying? Well, like like the older ones were, were probably fake. But the younger ones, they, they, they probably just, you know what I'm saying, just reacting how, how they react. And all that. He made a video about us just steamrolling us. He never contacted me. You put your whole life on the anything. internet. He never asked me if anything was real. Or All y'all see his reactions, bro. I don't, I'm not vlogging he, when I go never, to, to never, uh, school. He never tried to interview to the, me. To the, he never like, bro, researched like, nothing. You know, he watched a few videos. That you put out there, man. Boom. And because of that video, we now have real danger coming our way. Somebody tried to. Mute that. Hold on. Go back to school. This guy put us in huge danger. He put my kid. I mean, look, no, 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 bro. He's trying to play a victim, but like, like the dude who made the video. You know what I'm saying, bro? bro probably could have just complained about your content. But you decided to uh to put your whole like your business and your like your family business on the internet, man. So everybody can see it. Everybody got uh, an opinion. You know what I'm saying he he got a platform. He made a video on it. You know what I'm saying. Now me watching as uh, uh, what was that like 12, 11? I was like I was like whoa, like like I like I wasn't thinking nothing of it too much. I was just like yo, this dad's going overboard. You know what I'm saying. YouTube, man. YouTube, 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 so lit. Shit. But, like, I just said, my kids love this YouTube. And I did it for them. And I'm taking all this hate right now for them. And they were begging us, please don't tell that we fake some of our videos. They don't want to lose the... They, they don't, don't want to lose you guys. I mean, we don't want to lose you guys. But they really have worked hard on this this is their project it's their thing so getting, they do and, and we're going to continue i'm not trying to use videos. that word but like notably mike tried to defend the decision to go to disney and leave cody behind by saying he would have just got lost i mean cody not going to disney and stuff like that i didn't want to take him into a huge crowd and him run off planned on taking him to VidCon. Appalled, um, Philip DeFranco this. dissected their shitty video like it was a rotting frog in a science class. He stated that the videos Holy were clearly shit. not fake because they showed real pain and reaction. Yes, that's he what I'm saying. Like, like blaming the father was probably sense. real. You try to blame me, but this is just the world's reaction to seeing children in distress. Little yes. senseless children. Not adult actors on one of those fake prank channels or fake reality channels. Children being handled emotionally and physically. The kid, bro, the kids' reactions were not fake to some of that stuff. Like, like. That the world would have an adverse reaction. But based off your last man. video, I don't think. I'm not trying to say certain that. stuff, you know. After saying, a failed just, apology video and two critical yeah. videos from DeFranco, Mike and Heather became public enemy number one. They were already being investigated by Child Protective Services in the 
spotlight wasn't going anywhere. On April 28, 2017, Good Morning America even covered the situation. In May 2017, mm. Mike's ex-wife Rose won full custody of Emma and Cody. Mm. He's pulling pranks on their kids, screaming at them, causing them to cry hysterically. I'm not muted, I meant to skip that part. Now their biological mom has come forward, releasing her own video with her lawyer, announcing that Michael and Heather Martin have lost custody. And That's what I was saying, like, like, I know, uh, Oh, I guess um I thought the um I thought the dad was a stepdad, but so this is the real mom. So the mom was just a stepmom, you know what I'm saying? So she she probably just going along with it like like F these kids, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Own video with her lawyer announcing that Michael and Heather Martin have lost custody and the children are now in her care. In September 2017, Mike and Heather were charged by the state of Maryland for two counts of. They both pleaded guilty and were sentenced to five years. Not showing that. However, Mike and Heather rebranded to Family 05 and continued posting videos as if nothing happened. Sadly, though, the videos appeared just like their old ones, which resulted in YouTube terminating now you the, blur out the word. Family 05 channels in July 2018. The Martins then made a website where they posted vlogs and charged a $5 monthly subscription fee. The Nobody website paying is for that shit? today. Interestingly, in November 2018, the three remaining kids, Jake, Ryan, and Alex, created a YouTube channel called The Martin Family. Mike and Heather sometimes make appearances in their videos. As of the making of this video, their most recent upload was on August 21st, 2021. Ultimately, mm. the Daddy of Five YouTube surprised. channel was extremely problematic because it featured Personally, I'm very glad yeah. that Cody and Emma were removed from the Martin family and given to their biological mother. Yeah, that's, Cody was undoubtedly that's the fire. child that was terrorized the most, although Emma and the other kids That's were traumatic, but like, for a little kid, man. I'm super grateful attention to the situation. Seriously, hats off to him. I sincerely hope the Martins don't repeat their behavior with any of their children. I also pray Cody and Emma can recover from the and trauma they yes. experienced. It boils my blood when people the worst. Yeah. Gosh. Anyways, thanks so much for staying tuned through. All right, so all right, that's going to do it, man. Man. Let me know what y'all uh, uh, think about this. You know what I'm saying in the comments, man. I'm scared to go check out their other channel because I, I, I don't know, man. There's a lot of uh, stuff I was scared to, you know what I'm saying, talk about. You know what I'm saying? Look up. You feel me? Show. You know what I'm saying? Bro's bro, bro just deciding uh, when to blur out certain words, and I'm like, come on, man. So this video is going to have hella edits, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Hope y'all enjoyed, man. If y'all did, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe more, man. Follow my social here at the bottom. Yeah, man. Yeah.